Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Welcome to Hectanooka 1. Today I'm going to give you a pattern for the knitted version of the flat worked slippers. From now until Christmas, I'm going to try and post videos on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you find the videos too fast, you can slow them down with the little gear icon below the video. And for your convenience, I have placed a link below with all my slipper videos. To knit these slippers, I'm going to use a chunky yarn. I'm using Red Heart Chunky Yarn. But you could also use two strands of worsted weight yarn. And I'm going to begin with the long tail cast on. So I have a long tail here. To estimate how much yarn you need for your long tail cast on, wrap the yarn around the needle as many times as you're going to cast on. Here are the number of stitches to cast on for each size. So this is how I am casting on. I wrap the yarn around my thumb, slip it on the needle, bring the yarn over, and then cast the stitch on. So I'm going to go ahead and cast on as many stitches as I need for this demo. Okay, I have all my stitches cast on. I'm going to knit every row. So to knit a stitch, you simply insert the needle through the stitch, bring the yarn over, and then bring the stitch over and off the needle. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to knit every row for as many rows as I need for the size being made. And here's a slow motion of the knitting stitch again. Put the needle into the stitch, bring the yarn between the two needles, pull that stitch off the needle. Okay, I have worked my designated number of rows, and this is what the work is going to look like. So now I need to decrease for these two sides. So I'm going to decrease on one row, and then I'll decrease the other side on the next row. And to do that, I'm going to knit the first stitch, knit the next stitch, and now pull the first stitch over the last stitch worked and off the needle. Knit the next stitch, pull the previous one over and off the needle. Knit the next stitch over and off. Okay, I've gone ahead and done that and now I'm going to knit all the way across the row. So knit every stitch all the way across the row. So now I'm going to repeat that on this side. So I'm going to knit and cast off the same number of stitches as I did on the other end of the row. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so there's my cast off on each end of the row. And now I just have my stitches across here. And for these slippers, I worked in the ribbing stitch for the front. And so that's knit two, purl two. So that is already a knit stitch, so I'll knit the next stitch. And now I'm going to purl. So I'm going to bring my yarn over to the front. And then I'm going to work two stitches in purl. Now I'm going to knit two, so bring the yarn back to the other side. And knit two. Now I'm going to purl two, bring the yarn over. And purl two. And I'm going to work that way across the row. Okay, I worked across the row. I ended with purl two. So I'm going to turn my work. So I'll need to knit two in this first stitch. So knit two. Bring the yarn over toward me. Purl two. One. Two. Knit. Purl. Purl. 
and you're going to continue across the row. Okay, I've worked as many rows as I need for the size that I'm demonstrating. And now I'm going to cast off. So I'm going to knit the first stitch, knit the next stitch, pull the stitch off and over. Now I'm going to purl, so I'll bring my yarn over, purl the next stitch, pull the previous stitch over and off the needle, purl the next stitch, over and off the needle. And I'm going to continue across the row. And I'm going to fasten off. And I've left a long yarn in because I need to weave through here and then I need to sew up the front. Thread the yarn end into a needle, weave through this row of stitches. Like that. Now bring those two ends together and take a stitch to secure that like that. And now I'm going to sew across here and up here. Okay, I have sewn all the way up like that. I'm going to weave my yarn end back and forth into the finished work. And now if you have a long enough yarn end, you can sew the back closed with that. And if not, weave that yarn end into the finished work and just start with, with a new yarn. So I'm going to go ahead and sew this heel end. And there's how the finished slipper looks. So now you can just roll down that cuff and there you'll have some easy flat knit slippers. If you like this video, don't forget to click like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.